like i'm a regular person at the end of the day but like i don't always feel regular so sometimes like i've got to express that that weirdness when i'm in a new situation where i don't know anyone i'm very quiet just because i'm like i don't what am i gonna say it was hard being the only girl on tour it was very difficult to like make sure that there was time to get ready and like doing the 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 girl get ready stuff like while like the guys kind of got to hang out and enjoy the town i could have gone to college if i had a scholarship but that would have meant i needed to take a sport or something seriously long ago Bro, wasn't your like, journey. i'm already too late before mm -hmm. i realized what would have worked weren't too late look we gotta watch what we say because like courtney look where you are <laughs> <laughs> This is a You're workout. Serious? This arm's gonna be so strong. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Shane, you totally could. I can't. I really can't. Uh, right. I've tried my whole life. I never yep. could. All right, Keith, get your Sorry. shirt back on. It's time for the Smosh Cast. <laughs> All right, Keith, put your clothes on. It's wow. time for the, uh, the Smosh Cast. It's time for the Smosh Cast. Everybody, put your shirts on. It's time for another episode of the Smosh Cast. Yeah. Welcome. But actually, though, welcome. Hi. Oh, God. It, it, it is your girl, Courtney, the lesbian at this table. Come on. And I'm here with my boys. Come on. Hey. Shane Top and Keith Lee. Can, Junior. can I say Shane and I? We have never done never a done a podcast yeah, together. Yeah, why did so it take weird. Which long? Which is insane because you and I talk the most. The shit. most. Shit. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of shit talking it's today. It's a lot of. Shit. Welcome to shit talk. With Come on, Keith hmm. and Shane. <laughs> What's some poop heads? Love that. It's Keith and Shane in the morning. <laughs> poop heads. Yeah. <laughs> poop heads. Courtney's like, what have I signed up? For? Oh, God. <laughs> some some bullshit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you done? We're done. I need okay. to. We're done with We're done. our. We're done. With our we're done for now. Oh uh, yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. For those for those just listening, uh, you didn't get to hear uh, Keith trying for a solid five minutes to make armpit farts. Oh, that's gonna be in. Literally had to take his shirt off to do so. I will do I it. You it. guys know I do all the try not to laughs with my shirt off. So you like, really do. I'm used to it. We never end a try not to laugh without you and Noah naked and wet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, you know it's a good episode when yeah. that happens. Yeah, exactly. Sex sales. Mm -hmm. um, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shane, I don't believe you that you can't do an armpit fart. I feel like your armpit farts would be gnarly. I literally can't. I, I, come on. You got to get in there and cup it. You don't have to try now, but I think you need to try on your own time. Hey, little oh! guy! But they're like, they're like weak little like. That's okay. Bop, they usually bop, are. Bop. Like there's a tiny train. So like a tiny train just moving along. Bop. Oh, what is, he wants it to go. Bow. Yeah. Oh. It's not an ass. Only so much air can sit in their pit. Shane wants big armpit farts. I need those big armpit farts. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love this episode. Great start. Sorry, people who hate farts. But if you hate farts, then. I, I like that beforehand we were we talked about like, what are we going to talk about on this podcast? Oh, we're going to talk about this and this and this. We get it. It's just like, okay, let me try to fart with my arm. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Uh... Hey, let's break that down for the next hour. No. Oh. God, this is a mess, and I no. love it. Yeah. Oh God. Come on. <laughs> wow. Okay, Keith. Welcome. It has been a while since it's you're been on a while. Episode. Yeah, I've, I've missed you, Keith. Yeah. I missed you, the both of you guys. I missed you very much. Hold on, but you guys got to tell me about tour. You guys just went on tour. Ooh, oh we yeah. We did. We did. This is my first day back. Literally. Yeah. I, I actually had to. Come, we had our final show on Sunday. That Sunday in Phoenix, and then I had to come in literally the next day. For a uh, meeting because I'm directing Nuts. every TikTok Sheesh. ever. But uh, come on. Uh, yeah, I was like not e barely even alive. Just walked in here, just in a fog. Oh, I was a zombie. Yeah. Good Lord. I was an absolute zombie. I honestly, like, I really wonder if you would have enjoyed it. What, tour? Like, the performing is obviously awesome, come but on. like the sleeping the and sleeping. the. Sleeping on a bus. Sleep. Oh, I don't mind. I don't in sleep anywhere, guys. I sl okay, guys. You know I will sleep anywhere. I will sleep yeah. underneath this table, and then you guys will be like, "Keith, it's time for you to shoot." I guess that's true. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. We have we have caught you sleeping under a table before, mm -hmm. multiple times, mm -hmm. yeah. multiple times. And you say, Shane, you say you're able to sleep anywhere usually, but yeah, I, I I didn't have a terrible time. It's not that I couldn't see. Because I remember the first night you and Damien said you didn't sleep at all. No, right? I, I think I was just kind of laying there the whole time. Yeah. So I feel like for every night for me, I slept, but I never got great sleep. Yeah. Mm. It was like kind of dozy, like yeah. half sleep. It so I, I would actually fall asleep for the same amount of hours that I usually do most nights. I just was not 
feeling. Not hitting those REMs. Would you, guys, would you guys say it was like excitement though? Because it was the first time like on tour for sure. You know what I mean? It's more that it's so weird because you're on a moving bus mm-hmm. in a in a small bunk that really resembles a coffin once you shut mm-hmm. the, the curtain. There's a curtain that's shut. There's a it's, curtain. And it's stacked and it's, three it's high. It's like built into the wall. It's not like it's, just an up yeah, yeah, bunk yeah. bed. It's like inside the wall. It's like a drawer. Mm-hmm. It's essentially a drawer mm-hmm. with a with a curtain that you, you shut and you Velcro shut. Mm-hmm. And then you're really in this tiny space and you can't like get up too much or else you'll hit your head. So so the, my next question is, how did it feel to die? <laughs> yeah, we were in the ground. It's trippy. It's trippy. Yeah, we had bottom bunks, so it was like definitely like in the ground, dead. Yeah. Did you guys feel a lot of the, the shaking of the a little bus bit. and stuff too? It's, it yeah. would like, sometimes you'd be rocking back and forth a little bit. When you're on the bottom bunk, you don't feel that as much. Apparently the top bunks feel mm. You feel the most swaying. sway. Got yeah. you. Swaying First night I tried the middle bunk and I was like, yeah, that seems solid for me. Like, mm. I don't know. Didn't sleep at all. And like, I, I think a lot of it is, I sure, I'm sure I was nervous. Mm-hmm. But then like sound, there's a, there's a vent that's like making like a sound. Yeah. And then when you roll over, like you shift, you aren't like <gasps> able to just like roll. Like you can't like, cause you might like accidentally fall you out. Roll out of the bunk. When you said the word shift, I heard the word shit. Yeah, when you roll, I- you shift. Well, when no. you sleep in a bunk, you might just sh- your pants. No, like, moment. how was the bathroom process? So you, like, couldn't, oh, you, oh, couldn't, yeah. you couldn't drop deuces in that. Oh, bunk. you're no. not allowed. You're oh, not allowed. No. But, I probably wouldn't have liked it. To be, but to be fair, <laughs> you're. We were only ever on the bus literally for sleeping. You'd get done with the show. We would get on the bus at like 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. at night, and then the bus would start moving. You'd go to sleep, and you'd wake up at 6 a.m. in another place. Oh, wow. So you weren't. It's not like you're on the bus all day, every day, mm-hmm. going. You can't take a sh- like you it's just when you go to bed mm-hmm. yeah you probably i if you had been there you'd probably be hella napping yeah yeah like just like anywhere yeah we, we were just tired every day all day coffee um, was a thing i was drinking a lot of coffee yeah uh, i was having like it, it, i usually don't but on the tour i would have coffee in the morning and then i'd have coffee in like the afternoon Good yeah Lord. like right before the show kind of yeah Hold on. How, how were the actual like dates? The sh- like the, the, pe- the kids? Like, I will say on. that's the most fans we've ever met like wow. in a week because it was yeah. like uh, must have been like a hundred plus in each town that we got to take photos with and stuff. So wow. five, at least five hundred fans by the end of the week that we met. Even like um, if, I don't even know more. how many. Yeah. But they were they were honestly all great. I think the San Diego show <laughs> was I wish the I best. Been there. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. The, the, it, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Like I think a lot of people like because VidCon is a huge commitment. Right. Right. You like. Like, if you want to meet fans, you have to commit to this entire trip mm-hmm. and, like, a convention and everything. This is just a show where you get to meet the people. So it's, like, a lot of yeah. people got an opportunity that they never had before. Right, right, right. And it's cool because at VidCon, I always, like, it felt very humdrum about, oh, we're going to go out and do a and a and nothing else. Mm-hmm. This yeah. time we got to do, like, fans paid to come to a thing, but we actually got to give them something yeah. in return. Like, a, yeah. a show Beautiful. and, like put work into something. Well, and there's freedom on stage too, right? I was trying to have new jokes. We were all trying to have newish stuff for every show. Mm -hmm. There was one thing that I was doing at the end of every show where after the show was closing, Finn or or Ian would be on stage going, all right, thanks guys. Uh, You know, uh, before we end, I want to have a heartfelt moment here. And then I'd come out from the crowd as Courtney freaking Miller. (laughs) Of course. And just like go nuts. And it's super fun. (laughs) It's super fun to be on stage and know like there's no time limit. Mm -hmm. There's nobody that's got to come up on use this stage after us Mm -hmm. so we can and just go wild and I'm like there there's nothing stopping me from yep. doing anything like so I would go through the crowds like giving people high fives and uh, get on stage and just say whatever I wanted it was really awesome and then like I said the meet and greets beforehand were really cool because mm-hmm. those fans are there to just they're not there for VidCon to meet a bunch of people they're, yeah. they're there to you, you. Um, oh, that's beautiful. and it was venues that were good for what we were doing for the mm-hmm. most yeah. part like because remember we did VidCon try not to laugh on the big Vigon Huge. arena that was difficult and people couldn't hear, hear us this was like yeah. definitely not the case so mm-hmm. like it was cool when we, we'd come out with a character like I came out as boneless or you came out with like sassy legs for some shows like mm-hmm. the pan- the fans like scream even if they just hear you yeah. and like so if they had heard Bobby from the block behind the, the shade they would have been like holy <laughs> Oh, they would have freaked out. Yeah. They knew like oh, obscure, they knew obscure characters too. Yeah, um, yeah like random ones that were only a thing once. There was a, dude, my favorite. This makes me so happy, guys. My favorite. <laughs> getting it all right so, now. so the meet and greets, literally everyone was really cool. There was like, I was, it was really cool people. There, was, I have a favorite though. A favorite? I have a favorite fan that we met. Okay, uh, was, which one was it? I feel it, like I know which one. It was in, I think it was in Sacramento. It was this, I want to say he was like this 13 year old boy, super sweet. He was wearing this video game shirt, this very obscure video game called Persona 5. He had headphones on, glasses, 
and he walks up and his mom was with him and he walks up, he has this huge smile on his face and he just walks up to us and he goes, hello, fellow humans. <laughs> and then just plants there, freezes, doesn't say anything more, just just stares at us with a smile on his face. And we all kind of like talk at him a little bit where like Damien and I are like, oh, Persona 5, I love that. And he's just kind of staring at us just like, <laughs> and we're like, dude, that's so cool. I love your whole ensemble. Like, oh, how, like that's awesome. You're great, man. You're great. And he's just there like, Not and then and then his mom's like, all right, let's let's get a photo. And he kind of just like turns around towards camera. We all like get a photo. Yeah. He has not moved uh, his face or anything. Just stood perfectly still. And then we get a photo and we're like, all right, it was nice to meet you, man. And he just goes, goodbye, fellow humans, <laughs> yes. and walks away. And I was like, dude, that's awesome. Because like, obviously oh. all fans are like super nervous. I'm like, the way he decided to handle it, uh -huh. yeah, it might him so much to be like, you know what? Huge <laughs> smile on my face. I'm going to say good hello, fellow humans, and goodbye, fellow humans. Yes. And I was, and then I realized when he walked away, I was like, holy crap, that kid might be a robot. <laughs> and, he, and not even like, like just basic programming of like, okay, I programmed this, this robot that looks like a human <laughs> to say hello, fellow humans, and goodbye, fellow humans, and that's it. I hope people are going to catch him, right? But we're just there like, hey, buddy, how's it going? What's up? That's Who awesome. Catch him? Uh, he was so, he was so dope. Because like, I remember what it's like to be to be young and my be a teenager and be nervous mm -hmm. and how I would try to handle those nerves is I would just yes. stumble mm -hmm. over everything I'm saying. So I'm like, I, I love seeing the different ways people yeah. handle nerves. And that was one of my favorites I've ever seen. I oh. think if I was like a, a 13 year old something meeting my fans, I'd probably just be the silent, just like trying to absorb with my eyes everything like before everything. me. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still that way. I, when I'm when I'm in a new situation where I don't know anyone, I'm very quiet. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm like, I don't. Mm. What am I gonna say? And you're just absorbing whatever's around. Yeah, you. Yeah, like, I'm I'm that type. You are um, very quiet. You are very quiet. Yeah, when you don't know people. Mm -hmm. You're like, hey, what's up? How are you? Very like, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, you would even remember like as a as a kid being at Disneyland and like meeting Belle and just being like <laughs> silent and just shocked, like uh. just not understanding what's happening. Like this person that I've seen is now in my real life eyes. You're right. Like, yeah. just... It's a lot, it's a lot, cause when, I, when I've when i been at Disneyland with my nieces, uh, we'll see, they'll be like, they're like, oh, there's Ariel. And I'll be like, yeah, do you wanna go get, do you wanna go meet her and get a photo? And they'll be like, no. Yeah, what? <laughs> it's Cause they're scary. terrified. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, there's some people you just wanna appreciate from, from a distance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have a lot of people just like in life. It's like, I see you boo. Yeah, I see you. yeah, I don't need to, I don't need to interact. Right, yeah. right, you cute over there. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. like your dress. There has been a shift, yeah. but we're back. But now Keith has moved. Uh, um, it's not teleportation. I should never wear all black yeah. to this because this is a black and then it's just a head yeah. floating and then Shane covers me. It's just a lot. Mm. It's kind of funny though. You're just yeah. a floating head right there. Yeah, we're, why do you wear all black? Cause I, 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 it is your vibe. You, it's my vibe. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. like sometimes I'm just like you know, like I go through my little emo stages, and I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling dark today. I'm gonna mm. wear all black. Wow. I feel like you've had a your style's great. I feel like you've had a similar vibe since I've known you. It's yeah, it's, it's, there's not, always like an art like an article or a bit that yeah. stays consistent in everyone's wardrobe, mm -hmm. like everyone yeah. here. You've always had the cool shades and the you hat, have, the, the hat, you do the a hat, hats, yeah. dad hat, mm -hmm. especially. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and like. Your boot situations always fly. Love my boots. Um, Love my boots. I feel like this is actually a good table. The, us three. I mean, everyone in the squad was always like very into fashion, but mm -hmm. you're, uh, you're, no, you're getting I, into it. I was the now. one. I was the one who changed. You got. You got. I feel like. I feel like all of you guys had your thing. I had no idea what I was and doing I, in the beginning. I know, but you still had like a sense of style. Mm. I didn't when I started. Shane <laughs> would wear those one uh, Tim uh, like boots, those yeah. black boots, palladiums, with some, yeah. palladiums, yeah. yeah, which are dope. But the problem is, I would only wear those every day, mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. No, when Shane turned up his whole style situation, it was like, oh my God, Sh Shane. It was like Shane. someone someone pressed upgrade. Yeah, like, I mean, for real. Like, it was like next level. Mm. Shane went from hot <laughs> to, oh my God, yeah. Shane, top! <laughs> Whoa. <And> I, <laughs> I have no idea what my style is right now, guys. I'm like having a hard time. Like right now, I'm just in a big baggy t-shirt because I'm trying, dope. I'm trying That's baggy dope. clothes now. No, baggy is dope. Baggy's You're... in, dude, tie-dye and baggy is I in. like baggy yeah. on girls for Ti sure. Tie-dye yeah. is really back in and I dig mm -hmm. it. I feel like I, for a long time, was like, I have to show off my good features, so I need to nah. accentuate everything. But it's like, no, I know what I got. Nah. Mm -hmm. what you but, baggy, baggy's no, you baggy's yeah. dope. Sick. I just shop though, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm looking for mm -hmm. anymore. It's fine, don't just but... like whatever makes, whatever moves you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Don't like, don't take it yourself too seriously yeah. in that department. Just do whatever. I, I, I'm reminded every now and then of 
as a human, you can wear pretty much whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Uh, like, unless your your work or school has a dress code. But outside of that, you can wear whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, so when I go thrifting, I'm yeah, like- Yeah, you've been thrifting a I've lot been, lately. I, this is the thrift find, what I'm wearing yep. right now. I'm I'm down to just wear some weird stuff. Mm-hmm. Might as well. We, we do this for a living. Yeah. Might as well be weird. Dress how you feel on the inside. Courtney, you said that earlier. Yeah. That's one thing that I've been trying to practice for a while. That's why my style has been getting a little crazier. I'll mm. have my friend like get me some like cool, like yeah, thrifted dude. clothes. It's awesome. Like I'm telling you, you feel so much better. You feel like it, it gives you a, it's just like, it's it's a freedom almost. And it's, right. it's a, like, a, it's, it's an expression, you yeah. know? Yeah. So if I feel like, you know, if I just wear like some regular people clothes, you know, which I'm a regular person at the end of the day, but like, I don't always feel regular. So sometimes like I've got to express that, that weirdness, that like thing. I feel mm-hmm. like I'm all over that the court. place right now. That Yeah. It is, it is really freeing to wear something weird. That means that all moments you're already taking a risk. Mm-hmm. So you are, you already feel like you've taken mm-hmm. that plunge. So exactly. you feel more confident to take more mm-hmm. risks. I've noticed yep. when I do that, when I wear something that I'm like in the morning, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to wear that. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Then I feel like, oh, I can do anything. Yeah, today. Bro, for sure. That's a part of like, that's what has happened to me in the last like six months since that's I've been awesome. doing Your business. Instagram has been crazy. Yeah, oh, man. thank you. Of your awesome outfits, dude. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I love it. Oh, I love you. Yeah. I love y'all. You I should teach y'all. Shane a thing or two. Shane, he doesn't gram ever. No, Shane like does the banana thing. I do. I do silly stuff yeah, on my Shane Instagram. has his, he has his vibe. I do sometimes post fashion picks okay hold on no. <laughs> they're, okay they're, so what we should do they're I, insane though. i love to thrift you love to thrift yeah. we should go thrift and then like take some cool pictures <gasps> we should That's we should cute. i think that would be fun That's i'm, I'm super cute. down for that mm-hmm. Okay. I went thrifting hard this week. Yeah. What I, place I did you up. go to? I was in the valley, so I, I I swept up and down the valley and found all sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, they um, got some cool stuff. But I need to go to like uh, I need to go to Melrose Flea Market mm-hmm. is what I need to do. I don't know yeah. if that has clothes or is that the that? flea market? That's on Sundays. That's yeah. on Sundays. It's everything. It's and everything. I think they close down at four, but they have everything. And I've gotten a cool Michael Jackson shirt over there. That's <laughs> so awesome. I just had to put nice. it out there. It was like. Ten dollars. It was really cool. <laughs> I got uh, these glasses actually from there. Oh, really? really? Ten dollars. <laughs> yep. Remember those glasses I yeah. got for you that just kept breaking they like broke crazy? Again. <laughs> they yeah, broke I know again. they did those, but they were flies. Those yeah. were really cool. To those, I loved them. To those, I, loved them. To I really those, did. Thank you, Court. To those listening, because I know a lot of you are a lot of our our listeners are younger. Dude, thrifting is the way to go. Go mm-hmm. because because man, if you're on a budget, you can still get a whole wardrobe mm-hmm. for like. 30 mm-hmm. bucks right. you can get a lot of stuff it doesn't you don't have to spend money to look like yeah. money. exactly i mean man. growing up that was like my wardrobe uh, up until i was like 12 or 13 it was either hand-me-downs or thrifted clothes because that was mm-hmm. just like what was affordable my i remember mm-hmm. my first pair of skinny jeans ever and i was like i'm finally cool was a pair <laughs> of flying monkeys from a thrift store in thousand oaks and like it yeah it was crazy the thrifting like you can find so much cool stuff there. I love finding like crazy little decorations or like weird, quirky like tchotchkes. Yeah, finding <laughs> you, there's no need to buy plates or glasses no. from anywhere because you can just get them at thrift yeah. stores. I wanna, I just wanted to hold the young Courtney because you just Aww. said I just, I, I got some skinny jeans down. Cool. I just I yep. said, give me a hug, little girl. Give Aww. me a hug. And it was really sad because I'd wear those skinny jeans like every day, but they would eventually lose their skinny, you know, because I'd be running around and so yeah. like laundry, like there's so many of us, so laundry didn't happen very often. So like girls would look Aww. at me and my skinny jeans weren't skinny i was like i don't do laundry <laughs> you know a way to do that though like uh you could just dry them like put yeah. them in the dryer like yeah. i'm just, well, i wish i could have told you when you were 12 yeah, it's okay but like if you need to go back laundry. in time and yeah. tell teenage courtney that she can throw <laughs> her <laughs> skinny <laughs> jeans in the dryer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello and she's like what the what the fuck? like listen <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> must dry your throw skinny those jeans. skinny jeans in the dryer <laughs> what who yeah. are you don't worry <laughs> peace out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> goodbye sorry <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm burping a lot today, Kevin. I'm sorry. Courtney, you um, always burp though. We are used to it. I know, but he doesn't like when I burp on the pod. Really? It's not it's not cute. Really? But it's no, it's no, you're right. Like, why would I want that if right in the microphone? I we don't need that here. Yeah. It's fun and that, casual conversation, but not, not, <laughs> not on the but not on the pod. It not also the pod. makes the microphone smell like Pop Tarts for the next people to <laughs> 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 you're bullying me. You're bullying me. Why did you say pop tarts? I don't know. I was trying to think of just no pop tarts are fun. Like I know you haven't had a pop tart, but for you to say that and come off the dome, you are incredible. Pop tart, <laughs> pop tart, bro. <laughs> I don't pop know. tart? No, that's good. What Something. more do you want? I eat pop what tarts. more do you want? I do. Courtney, but you did not tarts. eat one this morning, no. and he said that like you ate one this morning, and it's it was a, it's a it's severe accusation. There. <laughs> it's so good. 
good. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. Look, come on. Shoot, that was good. Yeah, I'm surprised cute. your brain is still coming up with good shit after a week of, of frying our brains with improv to the max. He is not thinking anymore. <laughs> He's yeah. a robot too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely a robot. That's why I like that one kid because robot recognize robot. Mm. Yeah. Hello humans. You're a synth? Hello, Hello fellow, fellow humans. humans. <laughs> I think I, I kind of want to talk about this but I feel like you might not want to comment on it. It's just like the, the there were so many fans giving phone numbers to the boys. What? I, I never had anyone give me a... Uh, you, well, the, it was there was some in the fan mail that we got after. Uh, Oh, okay. Yeah, I just like I, it was very interesting for me to see the boys or, or Damien got a couple. I feel uh, like Damien gets the most. Yeah, very, Damien's so he, he's so personable. I mm -hmm. guess is that people feel like he's he feels very approachable. I think to people, mm -hmm. which he is. He really is. Um, and he he really cares about the fans and stuff. So I think he gets more of that. Yeah, um, than he's I very do. inviting. I mean, we're a very mm -hmm. inviting group. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, we but aren't, Damien is, is just no... like it really just he's yeah. got that type of energy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is no Dobre Brothers meeting and greet like we're very we we hug we yeah. whatever i we i can't up. help i couldn't it was the first time that i i mean not the first time i'm sure i felt protective over you guys and it's not like a predatory i mean in a way it kind of is when for me when i see a fan kind of propose a date like uh, there was a fan who like introduced themselves and, and gave a phone number and it's like if you'd swipe right on me and I'm just like for Ooh. me seeing that I, it made me uncomfortable to see it so I, I, you don't have to come on this year like I don't know how you feel um, but I don't it's not it's uncomfortable only because it puts us in a position of like oh I, I don't mm -hmm. I'm sorry I've never met you right. <laughs> so I don't I can't and then you feel bad if you're saying, giving like any sort of no, because it's like, I don't want you to feel like you're this right, is personal, right, right. that you're not enough. It's just that I actually don't know you. And I guess my advice to people who would give out a number to a f someone they're a fan of, I would just highly advise against it because yeah. you just mm -hmm. don't know them. And look, right. Damien's a good guy. I'm a good guy. Like I, I still, the ultimate factor is that you just don't know yeah, us right. and we don't know you. They're but very also there's lucky. there's other there's other people's actors, celebrities, whatever that you give a phone number to. And I they're just... Just because they're famous doesn't mean they're trustworthy. And just right, because you like their right. content, just because they're cool on camera, true. doesn't mean they're a good person yeah. off camera. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so be are, careful. Mm -hmm. those good girls job. Are very, really good job. Those mm -hmm. girls are very lucky they're giving their phone number to guys like you. Yeah, yeah, because sure. they're, I mean, even like I've heard about internet people like yeah. just taking advantage of people like that. Oh. And it's just definitely not like be careful and like. And there and there's I, I just feel like it's kind of I just think uh, it's inappropriate. It is, it is I feel inappropriate. like it's really inappropriate. Uh, like it is. because it's this, take me if I'm standing at a bar and a guy walks up and is like, "Hi, nice to meet you. Here's my phone number." It's not like for mm -hmm. me like that's never going to happen because like I don't mm -hmm. know you. We mm -hmm. literally just met just now. And mm -hmm. I know it comes from a uh, good a, a good honest yeah. place from 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 fans and people and you know if 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 you're listening and you you did this I don't want you to feel bad no, that no. you did this it's just that it's yeah it's tough and we do have I th I think there are rules that we have on us with just working for this for Smosh and everything there like, are we guidelines can't, we can't like we just can't yeah but yeah I, I it's more honestly my my thought is always more on the safety mm -hmm. for fans of giving out their number like shane, you just gotta be careful shane is like a stand-up guy like that is the best way that you could have anybody could have yeah. ever put it honestly yeah because like, for me i'm like i'm upset i don't like that that's happening well no no but which are right rightfully so like this is like we're all like brothers and sisters here you know what i mean yeah. so like the same thing would go for you as mm -hmm. well you know what i mean like we all look out like uh-uh that's not happening mm -hmm. it's just like that advice that he came around and like just to let them know because you know he has a, a different perspective than you on it yeah it's just like really well put and i feel like he put that he hit the he hit the you know it's just it's mm -hmm. understood now yeah it's yeah. understood now and i think the, the i think the fans out there are, i think they'll appreciate it as well yeah. you know what i mean I yeah. hope so. really yeah. good advice really good advice there yeah. was some crazy fan art and projects that were given really to cool. us that one girl spent what well, she said like 30 plus hours creating what is that thing called where it's like the the wax the plastic oh, things the, that you yeah. put together and then when you heat it up it like kind of melts together into a piece of art those are the things that were on our desk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. one for you somewhere. Really? Yes. Yeah, Can yeah. I have that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll give um, it to you. Come on, I didn't even see it, guys. They're framed. They're really cool. Yeah, looking. I want uh, that. The fan art's always yeah, really, I, I'm always really impressed by the fan art. Um, fan art yeah. is like my favorite. Like visual arts was my first love, doing mm -hmm. things like with my hands and everything. Like art is my first love. So whenever I get art, I usually like hold on to it and mm -hmm. you yeah. know, all of that. It's really cool. Yeah, someone gave me a Brianna Boho mm -hmm. coffee mug. 
And I'm like, hell yeah. Dude. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, love that. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm yeah. so happy for you. Thank it was really you. Fun. I, it was I, really fun. I hope like that would have been really fun like for all of us to do something like that. Like if anything, it felt it was hard being the only girl on tour. Mm, you need that uh, Olivia energy. Touring as a girl mm -hmm. is f hard. Mm -hmm. Like, because it, it, there wasn't, it was very difficult to, like, make sure that there was time to get ready and, like, doing the 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 girl get ready stuff, right. like, while, like, the guys kind of got to hang out and enjoy the town, right. which I was mm -hmm. so bummed that I, like, it was like, because I'm a girl and I got to do this now, I can't, mm -hmm. like, hang out with my friends or go. Yeah. It really bugged me and I, I got over there. it, but. I, well, I, I, and I will say, even even though, like, I got some time to explore stuff, there was far less time to do stuff than we thought there was going to be. Uh, mm -hmm. Go, a big a big selling point of this tour was like, man, we're going to explore all these cities and stuff. It's like, no, you wake up on a bus and you got to kind of like you can maybe go get breakfast and see some mm -hmm. stuff. But you're you're getting up and you're getting ready and you're going every day. Good yeah, yeah it, have, it's it's a, it's just work. I have a mm -hmm. huge amount of respect for YouTubers that are doing like months of this or mm -hmm. like like I I just wish I could pick tiny meat gangs brains mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the what what they do i mean their show is like written and it's in a way it's like a two man stand up show i mean from what i saw earlier on mm -hmm. and then i i want to like find any female youtubers who toured and just like ask them what like, it was them. like mm -hmm. cuz it's like brains. it's not like a lady gaga concert that's like everything's right. rehearsed and planned right, and there's right, a right, makeup right. artist there it's you're on a bus and then you're in a ba and then you're in a green room that mm -hmm. might have a mirror set up or like there we mm -hmm. sometimes would get a hotel room for the day just to be able to shower Good and Lord. like it's tough. get makeup yeah. it's tough. done. I just want to say also guys, you guys have to like uh, like pat yourselves on the backs because this was the first time you guys have done it. And I yeah. remember like when we were here all the time, we had like had talks about it and to finally see you guys be able to do that. And like you guys are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> nothing bad <laughs> happens. I mean, nothing you guys bad. got so much love from the fans. You know what I mean? They love you. You got some numbers, which you, <laughs> <laughs> you want. They really <laughs> love you. I mean? Like you guys are here right now. We're back to do doing it like i think yeah. you guys really have yeah. to give yourself credit and the team around the smosh team is incredible like you guys nobody knew what the they were doing you know right. what i mean but you did it and then you also had to do it without like half the squad there yeah. as well yeah. so That's not tough, so you know man. what i mean like you guys did it and you guys should like really like get round of applause oh, Thanks, thank you. Uh, can i clap because that yeah. does that is that annoying nah. it's fine okay sorry i'm not gonna do that apparently day. one uh, homeless person tried to get into the bus in sacramento Oh, lit. Well, that's yeah. Sacramento, though. Yeah. That was Sacramento. That was, our bus Sacramento. was, like, parked near an alley that was, like, very uh, was, scary to walk through. Uh, we, uh, told, when we used to film in Sacramento, we used to be scared. Yeah. The, we the, used the to be Smosh scared. studio there was just, yeah. There were yeah. noodles all around and people <laughs> yeah. just, like, come, yeah, start and stuff. Yeah. It was not yeah, cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Look, been uh, there, done that. <laughs> it was tough. It was tough to do Try Not to Laugh sometimes because honestly, Keith, I feel like when you're in Try Not to Laugh, that's when I do my best. Oh, bro. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. I, I just feel like you. I I I feel you, more bro. confident in taking a risk with a joke or trying something new with you. Oh, because I just feel like you get. I'll make the dumbest, weirdest jokes and you'll understand it oh. uh, on some sort of level shut up shade i mean <laughs> look, no keep going <laughs> oh, that makes well because so one i one i did at a lot of places was uh i do this woman at a bar uh, and, my guy, and i started it with you it's my favorite because i i don't know like there's something funny about yeah, it yeah you'd say different stuff every time oh yeah because what it is is i i'll i'll be hitting on you gotta do hitting that. on you but then I'll then I order always order something weird like because I feel like in a lot of movies or TV shows a woman like orders something like crazy to describe be like, be like, herself be like, be in like, a way. Hey, yeah. I'll have a whiskey neat. It's like it's like oh wow Whoa. you're badass. So I'd be like I'd be like wow hi there first time in Seattle, and then I'd be like can I get a hose filled with milk? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, just stuff, yeah, just dumb stuff, weird stuff. <laughs> what so was stupid. the one you did like music lyrics? <laughs> oh, I did one where I was like I was I was saying something to Damien. I was like wow you look very anime and then I turned I turned to the bar and I go yeah can you do me a favor uh, can you defeat them your demons and, and all, all the, the all the non-believers <laughs> and I didn't sing it I just kind of like said it and uh, it's too perfect yeah oh my um, God. that was really good I had some I, and I did that bit at, at most shows but I did different lines it's different lines every time that yeah. was kind of my thing that was the thing like the show 
it's like half improv, half not, mm-hmm. like with with all, all the things. Well, I mean, you want to go in there and have something that you yeah. know is going to work. And like, well, all the, the problem things. is exactly. you have all the, you. We didn't have enough room to bring a ton of props. It was kind of like we had to figure out what bits we were going to yeah. be doing for try not to laugh, mm-hmm. but also be trying to come up with new stuff without mm-hmm. new props. Yeah, it was, it was it was really hard. Like there was a point where I was like, okay, brain. Let's think of something new. And exactly. my brain was like, nah. But not to mention, we've already did done like a million Dude, of these. Yeah. I know. <laughs> not we, to mention. We need to get new props and stuff. Not yeah. to mention. Yeah, Sarah's excited. She's they're going to get a bunch of new we, stuff. We need Good new Lord. stuff because uh, God knows we've done plenty with the baby doll. Yeah. Yeah. But it was really sad because it's like, it's one She's thing. She's still with us? Dude, She's still that with baby, us. That baby is messed up at this point. Oh my God, I does she say, have all her eyes? I, I don't think so. Yeah. Got you. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Courtney. Sorry. God, Courtney. Kevin, we're sorry. I'll say, like, the one sad thing was, like, because when you're doing a Try Not to Laugh video, mm-hmm. it's a bit that's improv or whatever, mm-hmm. and then it's, but it's then it's on a video on stage or, like, on YouTube forever. Mm-hmm. And so, like, when I did one bit and it just killed, you're like, awesome. Mm-hmm. Now it's gone forever and, uh, like, temporary. You, don't I don't, I, you know what? I'm probably going to do those bits. A lot of the bits that I did on stage, I'm going to do again in videos because I'll do them on like you yeah. or Noah, mm, who's never seen, seen it. Nice. And then a lot of other people haven't seen it either. But yeah. they don't know what's going on. People love a little callback. Yeah. I was yeah. bummed like because we didn't think about like a no filming or no picture situation since it was like some of it's planned, some of it's not. And like some of it you really want it to be a surprise. Mm. And like I remember after the first show, I tweeted being like, hey, guys, like, thank you guys so much for the first show. Please remember not to post any videos or photos and ruin it for the other people and like there are some people who are like genuinely upset that were like well then how are the people who can't go to tour able to enjoy it but it's like well well, this is an exclusive thing like you could have said probably like wait till after yeah yeah. and people did wait wait a few days smosh Mm -hmm. smosh made a tweet or something later that was like Mm, looking at like yeah and then people were like now that it's over like i'm posting all this stuff we we do the tour Mm -hmm. because it is a special experience right 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 so for me it's like well, like I know it's tough. Obviously, people in New York couldn't come to the West, like, oh, West not Coast at all. tour, but so far. like even Tiny Meat Gang, they just they put out an announcement recently where they're like, "We are canceling this this leg of our tour because we it's time for us to write a new show. Like mm-hmm. we need to make some new make content because you guys have seen so much of it mm-hmm. already. Even Ian expressed like it's it's a bummer when we're repeating be- like stuff." Like it does, it doesn't. It loses the flavor to us. It, it was, it was the thing that was gonna happen though. Yeah. Because try not to laugh is so difficult on its own, and then mm-hmm. to travel with it, travel is with really it, and then do it back lot. to back to back. Because we'll yeah. have breaks between, you know, doing it. We might do like two in a day, and then yeah. have a break, and then you know, like do maybe it like one yeah. more. You know, maybe. But like to do it back, you guys did five, that's, right? Uh, yeah, five. Pretty total much. I mean, it's, that's in like it's, yeah. five days. That's and a lot. It's, it's technically two try not to last games per show. Yeah, we'll do a gauntlet at, at the, the end, end with the fans. Oh wow! And then we do two rounds of gauntlet at the end. Good and lord! And then we do try not to laugh at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So it was a lot of lot mm-hmm. of stuff. The final green room was literally also backstage. Yeah. So <gasps> all of our props and stuff were packed into this small room with us oh. while we're trying to like chill. What? Hold on. I think you were telling me about somebody getting into the green room. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were we were so we were in Sacramento and Oh, that's right. This mom. Yes. <laughs> Dude. We're in Sacramento can't, and can't and, even be mad. And, and like and like uh, the family, get, people who brought their family are is coming backstage. Yeah, our, so we're all, our friends and we're family all hanging come out, after. whatever. And then this one woman with her with her twelve year old son, I think. She was like, Hey, can we get a photo? Can we get a photo? Yeah. This must be a friend or family of someone. Whose aunt is this? Yeah. And and her and their nephew. And so we get a photo with this kid and she's like, Thank you. And then she leaves and we're like, Hold on, was anyone is she anyone's plus one or guest on anyone's guest list? And we're like, No, we're like, Wow, that mom just straight up hustled hustled back with the crowd. And knew ex knew she was not where she should be. Well, Ian invited like half the half of the audience was like Ian's. Friends. I know, but this mom. <laughs> so she, but she knew she, it, she was. She knew she was backstage and shouldn't like, be there. Don't do that, but like, damn, it, she it, did that. And like, she did it, and it's great. <laughs> it's funny, but I'm also like, well, we got really lucky. Yeah, yeah. that, that it wasn't, it wasn't a, bad um, a murderer. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. Good job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so crazy. It's that's like nuts. tour. That's like tour chronicles, guys. Like, yeah. it's nuts. I think that's why. And then she was smart because she in it out. Yep. She in wasn't it out. there to like linger. She was yep. like there to get a photo and be like, all right, boom, right. let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, her son's just probably there. Like, you're yeah. not even like. Imagine what he's like, damn, my mom's awesome. Yes, oh, yes. That's what I'm but talking about, very mom. Dangerous, yeah, that... Very dangerous, very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was a her part of Her son's going to rob a bank. <laughs> and her, her, his mom's going to be like, yeah, I taught you well. <laughs> In, out, get the job done. Don't don't get any eyes on you. Well, don't mean... don't act suspicious. Be don't super don't confident. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Was, she was damn confident. Mm-hmm. She acted like she was someone's relative. Yes, I'm all about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about it. She was nice to like, you guys. She got her picture. She was of like, that's yeah. the thing. Like, but, 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 but still, still I'm don't like, do that. Nobody else do don't that. Don't do that. Do no. not do that, guys. No. Yeah, I think a couple of people. We to do look, people. Like we all want to feel safe too. Like that's yeah. the thing. We love everyone, but like we sometimes yeah. things. You know, we just. I'm not gonna lie. There was like a level of anxiety, like mm-hmm. that was carried mm-hmm. out through the shows. Like you just you hear so many stories, and so like yeah. I I couldn't help but like even in the best of times, still having like in the back of my I had like a little bit of like what like, if something dude, goes the, wrong the, what which which show was it with the fire alarm oh san diego san diego yeah. which was the best show because it was so many fans that knew us and we'd met before and they were just ready to have some fun but like right before the show was like starting we were it was like 10 minutes away from going on stage and the fire alarm or like an alarm starts going off and then there's a vo- there's a voice it goes there has been an emergency uh, oh no 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 leave no, no, the no, building no. And, it's a and pre- preset like, oh, recording God. But like, my, I instantly, my heart was pounding. Oh, I was no. terrified. I would have been done. Nancy, I would have lost it. Nancy, who was with us, like kind of taking care of us the whole tour. She like, she like could tell she's like, you're okay. She like held me. And like, as we were, we didn't know where to go. Finnerty was like trying mm-hmm. to like figure out what to do. It, yeah, was, it was, it was real rough. It was a fog machine that caused yeah, it. Yeah, a fog machine just but it is, triggered the but fire it is alarm. Because honestly, a fire, fire, I know. fire, I know. fire isn't what, what we were thinking. <laughs> we weren't thinking fire. And if right. it had said, if it said there's a fire, we'd all been like, oh, there's right. a fire. We're fine. But we're thinking, oh, Guns, God, is someone trying to get right. backstage or, or someone, whatever? Yeah, someone being um, dangerous. Yeah, like, no, yeah that and, that's, got me. and that's the thing, like, for fans listening is just, like, it's never anything personal, but we, we're we always worried about, like, oh, is there someone in the that we're meeting that, that or someone in the audience? That could not only harm us, but just, harm the other yeah, people yeah, there. Like, yeah, so we're just always kind of thinking about that. So, like, with all of that being said and done and you guys going on tour and everything, and, like, this brings me back to, like, I hate to bring it here, but, like, the Kobe ba- the Kobe Bryant mm. passing and everything. Uh, like, with him passing and everything that's happening there and just seeing how the world is affected right now, Yeah, I was just, like, thinking about my legacy and what I wanted it to be. There's only a few deaths that you see that where, like, everyone around the world is affected, and this is one of them. And, like, his legacy is going to be remembered forever. Mm -hmm. And I can tell by the way that everyone's affected. And I just, I don't know, I just, how do you guys want to be remembered? Yeah, that's definitely something that, like, I even contemplated a bit during the tour. It's like, because that's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I mean, our job is, like, a crazy lifestyle Mm -hmm. where we're really impacting a lot of people Mm -hmm. around us. Like Millions, millions Millions, and then, like, and then the family that we meet that are like so many of them that are like hey you're like actively like improving my mental health with Mm -hmm. your content and it's like that feels really good or like a girl came up to me and she's like i was able to come out to my parents because of you Mm -hmm. and that was that was Mm -hmm. really intense hot damn mm -hmm. like i that hits you real hard in the feels and like i don't know it's that's a it's a huge question Mm -hmm. how do you want to be remembered how do you want to be remembered you know what it's something i i can't think about too much because if you think of, if you focus so hard on how you'll be remembered, you end up not. I feel like I would end up not living life because I'd be mm-hmm. thinking about that. You're almost because I doubt. I doubt. Do you think Kobe ever thought about his legacy? Oh, for like, you sure. Think so? For sure. Well, okay. In the in the realm of play, when he was At playing Kobe basketball, level, but like he, the, his whole thing was to be the best. Yeah, like yeah. That, That's his. That's, that's the thing. That's what he. But that's did. also that's Kobe Bryant, right? But that I think that's the mentality that he wants yeah. us all to have, regardless wherever we are. Do you, you know think what I mean? early on he? thought about that I think stuff? that's an early on thing to think like for for him to get as far as he did and to do that all that he's done he's been thinking that way as since yeah. he was a kid you know what I mean like that whole mamba mentality like mm-hmm. I mean like that's like some that ain't nothing new that yeah. didn't just happen when he was like for playing, sure for sure you know what I mean and it was like he's he thought about it and I'm sure he did a lot of the, he definitely lived like a better life than like everyone yeah. combined you know what I mean there is so a per- there are people that like they want to be remembered just to be remembered yeah yeah like but yeah. then there's people like Zendaya when you when you ask about like their level of fame and it's it's not just a it's not something a, a perk to her life it's a responsibility mm. so like 
I'm sure he met young kids all the time. Yes, that was what he was like, known I want to be like you. But he was influencing like even like athletes, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? The ones that yeah. were like around him, he was like trying to make the make yeah. them better. You know, yeah. like I, I read something where he was talking uh, to Allen Iverson, you know, and everybody was pitting them against each other, but they were actually really cool back in the day. Right. And it's so crazy because like I didn't see that growing up. I only seen, you know, like this the 76ers versus the, you know, the Lakers. Mm-hmm. But like he texted Allen Iverson and he was like, yo, what are you doing right now? And Allen Iverson was like, I'm going to the I'm going to the club. And then mm-hmm. he was like, where are you going? Talking to Kobe. He said, I'm going to the gym. Like, that's mm-hmm. just like, you know what I mean? And, yeah. it, and it shows. And it shows. Like the different paths. It shows. And different priorities. It really shows. And, it, it you know, I, I, I find myself, you know, slacking so much and just allowing certain things to pass by or not working the way I should. And it really just, it put me in my place of like, Ooh, okay. Like yeah. quit playing, quit playing. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I'm down to go to a bar and go and have fun. And like, instead of like sitting at home, like at home, writing with my friends, coming up with some like funny sketches or like, do mm-hmm. you know, like it's stuff like that, yeah. that really put it in perspective for me. I think, you know what it reminds me of? It's, it's, it's kind of like, cause the Kobe thing was interesting cause people reacted to it so intensely, mm-hmm. right? Especially yeah. in LA, there's a lot of people. Yeah. And you know, I see a lot of comments on Twitter and then there's that part of me that even and thinks like, but you didn't know the guy and yet people are so emotional about mm-hmm. it. And I'm like, it's not that they lost someone that they knew personally. They lost something. Something they he looked rep- up to. He represented something to them that Thank they you. feel like they lost. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, they, he was my motivation. Mm-hmm. He was my inspiration, whatever. Yep. And so you lose that. And then you're like, oh mm-hmm. God, I, right. I, I, what do I do with that? And and it's also a sobering thing when someone that you view as being immortal oh, yes. dies. Because yes. then it's like, it's like, wait, what? I, he was... Superman Superman people. can't die. Mm-hmm. They are if people. Superman dies, oh no. And I mean there's mm-hmm. there's people that I probably don't even realize yeah. represent that to me that if yeah. they died, I'd yeah. be like, What? Yep, until what? until it happens. They I, are people. They yeah. are people. They bleed the same blood but that it, we bleed. They just are seen all the time. But it's an important mm-hmm. thing also to remember because this goes to absolutely everyone, because obviously for us working in this space, there are fans who watch us that we represent something to. But also probably for everyone, everyone has a younger sibling mm-hmm. or a friend or something that that you represent something to. Exactly. And it's mm-hmm. important to like recognize that and be responsible for that. And it's yeah. why it can be so shattering mm-hmm. for if you break someone's trust or if you let people down in a certain way mm-hmm. of like, hey, what do you represent to people? Mm-hmm. You know? There's, there's scary moments when mm-hmm. you see something like if you're, if I'm like watching a movie or like seeing a moment that I'm like, man, that would be so cool to like do that thing or create mm-hmm. that thing. And then you're like, I should, I need, I would need to get started toward that now. Like, or mm-hmm. like, I need to start working toward that if that's something I really mm-hmm. want. And like, that's scary. Like, it makes me think back to high school when mm-hmm. it's like, okay, it's everyone's working on college applications. And I wasn't for mm-hmm. some reason. I just like, yep. obviously, I'm a space cadet, so I didn't even know they were happening. But mm-hmm. also, I was like, I couldn't afford college anyway if I wanted. I could have gone to college if I had a scholarship, but that would have meant. I needed to take a sport or something seriously long Bro, ago. Wasn't your it's like, journey. I'm already too late before mm-hmm. I realized what would have worked. Weren't too late. Look, we got to watch what we say because like, Courtney, look where you are. You I know, know what I mean? Like we have to really like the, the, the journey that everyone else was going, like that wasn't for you. And somehow some like where like, you knew that wasn't for you. You know what I mean? And you could have went down that road and like dropped out, done all that. But like also like look where you are now. Like your yeah. journey is so much more different and so yeah. much more compelling uh, it, it, knowing that you didn't go that route. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like you didn't miss out on anything. You didn't make the wrong choice. It's like you made the right one. Like you're actually, li- Courtney, when I look at you, you're actually living your dream, <laughs> which is like crazy. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. out of all of us in the cast, I think you were the the one of the only ones that were like you like really into YouTube growing up. Like this is what you wanted to do growing up. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we came in as just at, in the beginning, it's just like straight up actors that like enjoyed creating and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like this is something that you have been watching, and you, to see you actually living it, does that not blow your mind? Like you are <laughs> like this is your legacy. Like it, you're it living is, it. This is weirdly like the perfect Frankenstein of my dream. It is because like I I was like, always like. I want to be an actor or I want to I want to sing or I want to do music videos I want to write and this job has been weirdly like everything I I, it has been a while since I thought about that (laughs) I used to think about a lot of work just because you didn't Mm -hmm. go to college you were putting in the same amount of work as Mm -hmm. someone who was in college right you were just putting in a different avenue and I mean that's the same for it's not for everyone yeah man like I mean you know I dropped out 
I, I, I spent 10 years doing it, but that I think it's a matter of finding that thing you want. And, and mm. if college is the path, then yeah, you put in all your work there. Mm. And if it's not, it's it fine, you, right. but, but still be putting in the, that work towards whatever it is that you want, right. you know, and yeah. you did that. You got it. You got it. Don't worry about your legacy because it's just going to keep going like this. as much as you work and as hard as working as you are. It's just you're going to like just fall right into it. <laughs> it's just going to it's just going to be like this. Oh, this was. Oh, wow. Wow. Can, wow. <laughs> It's just a, I'm talking some bullshit. You can also go to college whenever you want. <laughs> facts. Yeah. Big facts. You literally yeah. can go to college The only, you only want. reason I would go to college is to be able to teach. That's the only thing, to just teach film in high school. I think high school film teacher is like so fun. That looks really? so fun to me. Yeah. That's cool. I didn't ever do that. Our high school film teacher, lovely man. I adored him. He t directed all of our plays. But like he was getting really old. And like I remember... <laughs> This is like, literally loved him. Nothing against him. <laughs> One day, uh, he was talking about the Titanic. He was like, that was the biggest ship ever made. And Sorry. we'll never make another ship that big. We're like, Mr. Hunt, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we're like, there's like other ships. There's, we were like, oh no, we were talking. We're like, oh yeah, there's this cruise ship that is like a replica of the Titanic and you get to eat what they ate and stuff. And he's like, oh, honey, no, no. They they have never been able to make a ship that big again. Oh no. We're like, I'm pretty sure the ship's like, Three times the size of the right. Titanic. And he was like, no, Well, I no. remember when penicillin was invented. <laughs> yeah. There'll never be a medicine as good as penicillin. <laughs> But uh, but like our class, uh, I remember when the cotton class? slacks were invented. Uh, if only there were a different type of pants that were better, and more comfortable than cotton slacks. Too bad that hasn't been invented. <laughs> this is stupid. Ah, uh, the Oregon Trail, probably the best form of transportation I've ever seen. Stop. There will never be a better form of Stop. transportation. But our class, the thing was. <laughs> and he was like in one movie forever ago as a cab driver. <laughs> but like our our um... He's Jimmy Fallon, he was in taxi. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Is that, is that the whole I'm Latifah? pretty sure. Oh my God. It was very similar to that, bro. Oh God. But our class was mostly <laughs> discussing movies and just like learning the history of of entertainment right. and it wasn't like what I would like to do I mean my, I already like have ideas oh of like God. the curriculum I'd like to do where it's like there's gonna be however many projects in the year like film <laughs> projects it's like okay this time you're the director. Okay, this time you're the PA. Like you guys all, you learn like oh, set cool. because I feel like a lot of like that, that you just like learn right. experience. Mm -hmm, for sure. But like as a yeah. kid, you like being able to learn that stuff and like, yeah, because like, he would have a film festival every year like That's where cool. they'd make, a, you'd make a film every quarter mm -hmm. and and then like the best ones would be in this film festival. You know but... what's cool with what you just said about like putting people in different like positions to like learn and everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, your journey <laughs> is like not everyone, like it's not yours. Like my journey was wasn't, wasn't yours and yours isn't mine. Mm -hmm. So like I dropped out of college or whatever and I was going to this one college just considered like a performing arts college. I thought that if I was going to performing arts college, it was like kind of like the high school that I went to. Mm. And I remember like being there, I was just so like unmotivated there. Mm. And you know, like they, the, the, the program was just crap. But beyond that, like even just like as like a minority, as a black guy, I, I found them teaching me how to be the best like leading white man. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. And I'm just like, well, I'm never going to get roles like this. So should I? That it's like freaking sorry I gotta go. to bother you. <laughs> I gotta go. And it's just like, you know, like they never taught me how to be the the, the best Keith Lee Jr. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. one thing like that. I That's one reason I had to leave. I was like, yo, like I will figure it out on my own before I allow some like person like white or black teach me how to be the, the best le leading white man. I can't be that. Mm -hmm. That's just not me. Like I don't have that. But if you teach me how to be the best black ass Keith or just Keith Lee Jr. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's not even put it on there, but just the best Keith Lee Jr. Like I, I would have stuck around, I'm sure, but you know, journey's I think different. that's what's really cool about like what we've all done together is mm -hmm. like Smosh Pit was like, I mean, sketch was sketch, but like Pitt was us. Yeah. And like, I think that's something I miss most about having, being around each other every day. Mm -hmm. I am as funny as I am, whatever, on my own. But like, I feel like when we bounce off each other. Yes, for sure. We're, it's like a whole different experience. And mm -hmm. like. It was a but, controlled chaotic yeah, energy. But mm -hmm. the, the people watching loved you for being you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it wasn't because you acted well in a role. It was mm -hmm. because like, like even Joven, like he was always the bad guy mm -hmm. in the video. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. we compliment each other and like, 
we found our our strengths with each other within each other that's pretty uh every time i think about that to this day i talk to my like friends like at home like my regular friends mm -hmm. about it all the time i'm just like yo like yeah there's just uh something that we've created over these past mm -hmm. like five six years that's like it's undeniable it changed us forever it changed us all forever but for i don't sure. i don't look I don't want to like look back and be like, because they were the golden days. But like, I don't want to look back and then be like, man, I miss when we were like, because we're gonna yeah. find, we'll find our swing, and we like oh, want to yeah, keep changing. Yeah, and, yeah, and it'll, it'll always happen. Yeah. It's just more so like those uh, we were together yeah. all the time there, back then. Uh, yeah, know? and I also think it is definitely you look back with rose colored glasses too, because I think what also made those years really fun sometimes was because we worked at Defy and things were insane. Yeah, we got yeah. like things were things were crappy a lot of days so when we got into those shoots we were already so just fed up with everything <laughs> going on that in yes. those moments then we just had fun together mm -hmm. and we were already just kind of like who gives a yeah. crap yeah we didn't realize what we were doing at the time you know yeah, what I mean? yeah no and I, I think in that's hindsight. the only that's why it was great mm -hmm. if we knew what we were yeah. doing it wouldn't have been the we same yeah even like so it was cool. like freaking weird show ideas or video ideas oh, it was yeah. still like us being like all right well we're gonna just mess with <laughs> well, each other the whole time some Let's of the go. most some of the most fun was when because <laughs> smosh pit is doing so well now but there was that phase where like we because thought like we thought it was gonna like die views, we were like well this this channel's doing garbage uh but that was when we were probably that. having the most fun <laughs> honestly like for listeners and stuff go back and like find those smosh pit videos from 2017 yeah. early was 2017 was it 2015? 2015 when we like did Six, like the 16, weird then. first 2016 yeah. is probably when it's at yeah. its weirdest Probably. But yeah, I, I yeah. love, it's so crazy. Like if I'm on, I'll be on YouTube and I'll be watching other YouTubers and then the autoplay will just pick whatever's next and I'm like cleaning or whatever. Mm. And then sometimes an old video of ours will come on, like part two of The Shocking Liar. Oh, oh my God. God. You were the MVP of that video, dude. That's one of my favorite so vlogs funny. to date you know was, what? I have a problem with amazing. that. I, I thank you for that, but I was legitimately freaking yeah. afraid. No. You were actually terrified. Dude, that's a huge yeah. thing too is like, <laughs> I totally understand where you're coming from because there was a lot, we still even kind of have crazy punishment videos sometimes, but like I do have a weird <laughs> level of anxiety of like, why do they want to do this to me? <laughs> why are you hurting me? Yeah. Why do you enjoy this? Yeah. Why are you laughing at me and I'm crying right now? This is the thing I will say right now, I could go for a hot pepper challenge. I would do that. I would do that right Honestly, now. I've Honestly, I've, I've been on a spicy kick lately, so I'd, I'd actually be down. We wow. should we should probably bring that back All right, somehow. Right now. Let's do it right now. Right now? Okay. Good thing, because I actually... No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! <laughs> oh, a Carolina Reaper right here. No. <laughs> There's always going to be those comments on the videos mm -hmm. of like, I miss this chapter. Yeah, yeah, I miss yeah, this yeah, chapter. Yeah. And I never want to be that because yeah, yeah. there was hard times and good times mm -hmm. like throughout all of that. And it, you're right. Rose-colored glasses. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. And like... Yeah, I, I like, and it, you're saying like, I'm on my path, like you are on your mm -hmm. path too, Keith. I believe you've always been and always will be like destined for something amazing because you're oh. too damn talented. Yeah. And I think if there's anything that I would tell you is like, just remember your value and keep like, like keep letting it, <laughs> this is very cheesy, letting it shine. I don't know why that, that's just the way it came out of my head, but like. I like cheesy sh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Me keep corny keep sometimes. Going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up? It's me, corny, corny. <laughs> That's what your shirt says. <laughs> it's journey, oh. not corny. It was, uh, <laughs> I thought the C was the J. Was <laughs> oh, I got this new corny shirt. Uh, it was, uh, it was Joe Beretta who told me several times, Keith, that he, he knew you were the most talented entertainer mm -hmm. of, of the whole group. Yeah. Absolutely. Like just naturally talented. Don't do that. Yeah. It's true, man. Keith, you're a freaking when you, quadruple quintuple Because you'll, you'll hit threat. these moments. You'll hit these moments when you're just like you just get into it, and it's insane. Like mm -hmm. you just go. Thank You've you said guys. that to me before. That's really sweet. Once you were like, yeah, no matter what our relationship was, you said to me that there was no denying my ability, and like throughout everything, there was no denying your ability. Yeah, man. Absolutely not. That makes me feel really good, guys. I'm not going to cry because I'm a thug, but <laughs> that, was really, that was really nice. <laughs> we, the, the group was really like, it, oh. it was really interesting how it came together because all of us brought ver something very different to the table. Um, it was crazy how like, it's that's something I will never get over is like we all came from completely different walks And it was kind of kinda random. Like it mm -hmm. wasn't like we were chosen yeah. because, oh, mm -hmm. Noah brings this type of humor no, and no. Courtney brings this. It just happened. It's and like almost like, too perfect <laughs> and i almost think i almost think well I, I think a part of it worked because if we hadn't been put in that situation i don't know if the five of us were the types that would have ever no not come together not otherwise no, and so like noah and olivia 
would have never like not hung out no. and done videos together had it not been, hey, go into a room and yeah. do videos together. Mm -mm. None, uh, like, we none challenged of us, each other. Like none of us, none of us. It was like a puzzle that like we were different pieces and we together. From a different puzzles, like, different pieces from different yes, puzzles. Yes, and still like fit. somehow we just fit. Like well, it's yeah. next level. There's a lot of videos that I look at and like I look back, we do those game videos where it's like, okay, who can assemble Legos into a piece or whatever it, <laughs> best, right? Okay. And the reason it would be good was because Keith, Olivia, and myself, and and Noah would would change, but we would be doing insane, just dumb. We'd be going against the idea of the video, right? But the only reason <laughs> it was funny is because that. Courtney would be actually doing it properly. <laughs> And if she wasn't, if it was just all of us being stupid, it would have been just a. Work, it would have it, it would have been a it would have been a stupid video because <laughs> because then we have absolutely no nothing to measure it by. But Courtney would actually do it properly. Be like, oh, that's how you're supposed to do it, and this is why these three are stupid. Dude, the the Lego challenge where y'all built like a camera, and you're like, ah, oh, you broke the aperture. <laughs> I forgot all about that. But yeah, and there'd be a lot of times where like, if it was like the three, if it was you, me, and Noah, it would only work because you and me would do some dumb stuff and Noah would be like, no, that's insane and you guys are dumb. And he'd just roast us and it, would, it wouldn't be funny otherwise. It wouldn't be funny if Olivia, Olivia's stuff on her own would just be weird, but there was me always being like, Olivia, what the hell are you saying yeah. and doing? Yeah, you guys really worked well together. Dang, yeah. it's so crazy. Oh my God, that's so crazy. People People still bring up the um, the show with no name where you and Noah yeah. named my so I like I'll and name the, and the Keith, your, your oh children. yeah Chrome yeah Chrome, all my, my children name, my celebrity baby name so the thing is I always like have I'll get a new hat and I'll like have the fans like name it for me and they're Cute. still writing down those K names <laughs> that's Ce great celebrity Kate. bake exactly Olivia <laughs> Olivia <laughs> Olivia of course threw in knife yeah <laughs> because knife. It, it made Just sense different it made sense Cute. I love you guys y'all ready for all this right. yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Hide Sorry. the mythical set. Sorry, that's not it. Well, well, yeah, we that's filmed this. We, we filmed this somewhere else. We filmed this in Hollywood, behind <laughs> the Hollywood sign. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. We filmed this at the our old Charlie Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Okay. All right, gang. It is time for freaking. See, Can no you... one else would laugh at that. <laughs> Only Keith would I'm laugh at that. I'm here for you, brother. I am here Thanks, for you. Thanks, Keith. Mm -hmm. All right, cute. You're welcome. Okay, shut up. All right. Okay, so guys, it's time for the shoot dude segment. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, well, sure. <laughs> okay, yo, it's shoot dude time. It's shoot, shoot dude. dude. Oh, shoot, it's dude time. shoot dude time. Ian randomly came up with that, like on the first episode or something. Shoot dude. Shoot dude. Okay. And so now we're making it into a segment. Come on. Um, basically, we tweeted for people to send us uh, some embarrassing stories. Have you ever had a, a shoot dude moment? Hmm. Uh, to shoot dude at smosh.com. And uh, our, our writer and our VP, Finnerty, got locked out of the email. So it was tough to get. Um, some emails for today, but we still got like a hundred. So this is already this is a shoot dude is already situation. A shoot dude situation because this is embarrassing because we wanted yeah. to start a new segment and then we messed it up. <laughs> yeah, but so we, shoot dude. Yeah, <laughs> but we're gonna be we're gonna be reading your embarrassing story and reacting, relating, vibing. So this shoot dude moment is from Fliss Wolf. Come at, on, at Fliss Bish. They said I was at a water park attempting to get on a donut to roll down the lazy river. I love the lazy river. I sort of did a weird leap slash flip slash jump onto it. I managed to stay on, but my bikini bottom, SpongeBob, did not. Carefully placed hands did not hide my embarrassment. Her pants came down in a water park. Her so bikini she was, bottoms came so down. So she was just in an inner tube. Just she was trying to get onto an inner tube for the lazy oh, river. Oh no! And her pants got stuck, and she flashed how the world. Her, how right. did her pants get stuck? Probably trying to hop up. Maybe they were just a little too big, and they mm -hmm. like she was hopping up on the tube, but they like got snagged on the tube yeah. and yeah. stayed down. That get, sucks. You got to get bottom set fit. I mean, look, that's how I ride the lazy river. Uh, my my butt has to be touching yeah, water. Ew! <laughs> that's the only way it's truly lazy. It's so gross. <laughs> I don't ever weird remind me never get into the lazy river with this guy. <laughs> I am so sorry, Fliss, that that happened to you. But mm -hmm. uh, that's scary. It's like I've had like where your swimsuit top gets untied on accident in the ocean because the waves be trying to get you naked. Mm -hmm. um, Bucky naked. Yeah. See, I don't know that feeling. Um, <laughs> it's a swim trunks. Guy. Isn't it weird? Have you guys ever been skinny dipping? 
I have actually really? in high school. In Wait, high school, so what this kind was of body of water. So this was like okay. So we were in Cincinnati, and it was this one rich kid. Like okay, so like this run one rich kid. I don't remember his name. Like all of like the cool hipster kids like would go over his house. His parents were like scientists or some crazy. I don't know, but I just remember we like were at their house, but then they were like, guys, let's go swimming. We weren't drinking, but they were like, guys, <laughs> let's go swimming. And then we just went down some stairs. And I mean, it was the stairs were so high up That's just to get down to the piano. It was a yeah. castle. It was yeah. incredible. So we get down there and then we're just like not drinking, of course, and like just yeah. having fun, laughing. Just drinking Hawaiian punch. Right, exactly. Yeah. And like in red seat. cups. And they're just like, guys, let's go swim. <laughs> In red cups. And you're like, let's go skinny dipping in red cups. And before you know it, like people, they had turned out some of the lights as, you know, some people were afraid. Aww. We did not want anyone to see my little wiener. No. So like pretty much they turned out the lights and it got to the point where, you know, I kind of like pulled my clothes down. Dang, my parents are going to see this. No, 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 no. It's okay. okay I'm gonna finish it's out. so I'm gonna finish long out. ago. It's okay, so long ago. So I took ago. it off Fine. and I was like, you know, I put my little butt on the concrete and then I like kind of dipped in like that. Eee. And then I started swimming and my little wiener was just like, Hoo. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, doesn't that yeah. feel weird? Doesn't that feel weird it being a different. boy in the water? It was different. It was different. It's weird. But I definitely stayed away <laughs> from everybody, you know? <laughs> I was like, you stay over there. <laughs> Make it. She can't see. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Wow, that's fun. I've, I've never been. Then. I've never been. It was I fun. I never went skinny dipping. It was fun. No. Let's go. You want to go skinny dipping? No. No? I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, no, I'll stay on the other side of the pool. <laughs> like, you see, I don't want to. Lights you off, me. pitch black, <laughs> right. pool light off. How, that, many, how many shoot dudes does that earn? That is a shoot dude moment. I'd give that like four out of five shoot dudes. Ooh. Accidental nudity? Are you kidding? Bro. Like in Lazy Town or Lazy in River? In Lazy River. So oh, it's yeah, like that, a bunch of people just lazy yeah. and they're like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> you excited everybody in that I'd lazy say, river. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say uh, I I'd, I'd give it one shoot, dude. Because I'll, I'll look in the lazy river, no one cares. Uh, everyone's everyone's already lazy. They're True. just kind of like whatever. They're just there to. <laughs> All right. relax. But if you see some ass up in the sky in lazy river, that's a good old five late. Uh, what is it? Shoots. That's five shoots. Is that's it out of shoot five? Dude, uh, sh five shoot dudes. Yeah. Okay. And also, this is the first of many shoot dudes. So I guess I also, that's okay to set the bar think, pretty low. I also think though, like uh, maybe I'm just. Face but ass. maybe I'm biased because because working in this industry, being dressed up and not wearing much clothes so often, you're used like to I'm it. just like ah, nobody cares. <laughs> but when you're a, like young, when you're young, and, it and does a girl. suck. I, no, I understand. It's I'm not saying it's not a shoot dude moment. It's a shoot dude moment. I'm just saying like you're you're fine. Like no one's really like being like oh, I remember that thing. Oh my god, it's not a shoot no. dude. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> Today's <laughs> moment is brought to you. I just look. Okay, this is the thing. The water's already going slow, and I just can't imagine somebody's ass. <laughs> Stop destroying the set. Just trying to get into the tube. What if? What if they were perfectly like squeezed underneath the tube, and only their ass was coming out of the inner tube? <laughs> It's like, is that just, just an ass? They were stuck. Like just <laughs> like like it's like a donut. Just... It's like a donut with an ass in the middle. <laughs> with legs up, legs up, like kicking it in. <laughs> Underwater, she's like. Oh. See, there's worse situations. If the inner tube, if you'd gotten into the inner tube, your your pants were down. You're in the inner tube, and then the inner tube flipped over, and then you're just ass up out of the water. Look, That's... it's the look, this monster. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I know it for the person who sent this in, I know you were probably embarrassed, whatever. I, look, whatever. If, if this had happened to me, if this had happened to me, I'd, I'd be embarrassed too. But then I would later on be laughing about it because it's like, yeah, it's you gotta funny. laugh. Got it's also not your fault. You didn't do, you didn't do anything wrong. No, if she did anything wrong, it was sharing it with all of us. <laughs> now she can Yeah, see, you brought it to the internet. <laughs> now, look, now we, you come on, you can ex you not expect you us to have You could have kept it at Hurricane Harbor. Come on, that's look, <laughs> and nobody else would have known. Shoot, but dude. But you brought it out. Uh, no, it's great. <laughs> it's it's great. super funny. Uh, it's Good a great story. story. Sorry about that shoot, dude moment, Fliss, but you're going to be okay, and you're going to be laughing about it. I mean, you will be it laughing is, about it eventually. It's really good. I'm sure you're probably like, already, if you're yeah. if you're willing to write in you're laughing. about it, you're laughing. You're laughing. I, look, I hope you're laughing because I'm here. <laughs> Can I not just 
to be left this on. It's <laughs> what? It's funny. It is so funny. funny. Accidental stuff like that is funny. <laughs> I just want yeah. her to be laughing that I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. I want to like. Oh, you're fine. You're okay. not making fun of. We're laughing with you, Fliss. Don't worry. And also, Keith. I should point out, Keith laughs at everything. <laughs> yes. No, that's a good. Yeah. I do. Dude, I that still will never, the, the I'll falling. never forget when it was me, Noah, and Keith. This was early on. This was like one of my first weeks at Smosh. <laughs> and we're eating at this burger place. We're eating outside. And all of a sudden, this lady crossing the street, she was on her phone. She's not paying attention. She trips on the sidewalk, walking. She was on the, she was on the street, walking along the crosswalk. As she comes up to the sidewalk, she just catches her foot on the sidewalk. And I mean, just face plants, <laughs> face plants. And we're right there. Right there. And Keith just points and starts laughing. <laughs> she was fine. She got up. She the, what, what what made it funny is that she got up super quickly and acted like nothing happened. She like got up and just like just like kept walking and, and like didn't get up and be like, oh my God, or like get up and be like, I'm okay, I'm okay. She just got up and was silent and just darted, she, she, walked so fast. She away. definitely shattered a knee. She was just in shock. Have you guys seen that that viral video of that late girl? She was like a stripper, but she was on like a two story like stripping pole and she no. fell down. Oh, and then Lord. she fell down and the girl's like another stripper's like at the edge of the t- <laughs> the edge of the stage. But when the girl falls down, she gets up and starts twerking again. <laughs> I gotta you. That's what it reminded you me. You gotta of. own but, it. But like, that's the thing. She kept twerking, and some people started like clapping for, her, like, okay, bitch, like, okay. But then this is the problem. <laughs> she, she's like, she has like a a, a GoFundMe now because she had to get surgery on her chin. <gasps> See, shock will have God. you messed up. So yeah. I'm telling you, that lady Adrenaline. fell so hard that she probably shattered an eight. But like, it was <laughs> kind of, it's not funny that that happened, but it was, but she hit hard. <laughs> you got, I, but I think you got to laugh at that stuff. You got to laugh at that stuff. That's why like making fun of each other for things and laughing eliminates the ability for people to make fun of you mm, and hurt your yeah. feelings. Oh, so I'm going like, to laugh before laugh you at your, can. And, and like, at like I said, no one's the exception to the rule. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like you're laughing yeah. at a specific person. You right. will laugh at anything. Yeah, yeah, you will literally laugh. Anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you also have laughed whenever something embarrassing happens to you, you laugh at me. Oh, uh, I don't know what else to do. It's just like, oh, well, I could either cry about this also, or laugh. I also realized, Keith, you flashed your butt at all of us when we were shooting a vlog when we were at the swimming pool. Remember? Like, I think that made it into the video. <laughs> I flashed too many buddies. You just, you just like, you like, so you like shamooed out of the water, you free willied, <laughs> and you just. <laughs> Your butt was out. Oh what did y'all see all this ass? <laughs> oh my god! Quirky, quirky. You know what's crazy is uh, apparently I have like a cousin. I meet new cousins and new relatives all the time. Oh my god! I know Mormon <laughs> life. Hashtag Mormon life. Keith almost fell out of the chair. How did that happen? <laughs> it's a ghost. Uh, you it's die. a ghost in this bitch. Careful. You fall, you fall on the ground, start twerking. <laughs> like I think Keith need, Keith needs help, dude. But apparently that's the signal. One of my cousins that I had met, and she's really cool. She was originally going to come to the Phoenix show, but I guess her parents saw that one try not to laugh where you had stuck your finger out of your jeans, like, <laughs> oh, God. and they were like, I don't like that kind of content. You can't no. go. And they didn't let her go. But I was like, dude, that was years ago. <laughs> it was also not real. Yeah. I ruined it. No, it's fine. It's also it's not real. We'll make sure she gets some. Some other show. Look, show nobody ever flashed anyone on try not to laugh. So I know. No, I, so I'm not I mean, liked. <laughs> no. I'm just like, I don't care. Peepees aren't liked. No nudity on Smosh. Oh, well, God. None. Well, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Oh, hell yeah. And thanks for listening to us talk and talk and talk about tour. Be careful. <laughs> Wow, that's yeah. gonna be great for the pot. That's gonna be great for the listening people. I'm the like into the RMS. English. Just gargling my favorite coffee. I think right. I'm happy with what we did here. I'm, I'm happy with I it. I think this is a solid. And if <laughs> okay. you wanna do us a solid, and if you like our pod, go ahead and subscribe to the Smosh cast if you wanna watch with your eyes or get get on the listening apps and li- listen with your ears because on Wednesdays, the full audio comes out for your ears. Oh, and on God. Fridays, the full video comes out for your eyes. Yes, God. Hit all the senses. <laughs> come on, Jesus. Yes, God. <laughs> come Hit on, all God. the senses. Um, we, come on. We've had some new merch coming out. I think we're gonna be releasing new merch like, a lot more often, mm-hmm. which is gonna be fun. So you can check those out at Smosh.store. Let me have some. Um, tour is not happening anymore, so there's no tickets to be sold anywhere. But if there ever is another one, there will be e- emails and newsletters to come out. So if you want to sign up for the come newsletter, on. don't miss out on that. Yeah. Love you guys. Oh. And don't forget to send Shoot Dude Moments to shootdude at Smosh.com. That's we right, should be dude. reading those and reacting and laughing at you or laughing with you, Hell depending. Yeah. <laughs> that was not me. Whoa. Whoa. That, that was Courtney. 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 I don't even do that. Courtney. Why would I do that? 
I love you guys. Love you too. Love you too. You're pretty cool. You're pretty cool. You're shut, pretty sh shut up. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Why is that? I don't like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>